Hey, what's up everybody? We're gonna paint some house numbers today. As you can see, they look super janky. We have some paint, we have some tape, we have a level here, we have some brushes, and a little paper to mask the edges. Let's go. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is sort of clean up the area. So you can have a wire brush like this to get the really, really junk, junky stuff. And then I got this big brush here that I can use to just wipe away all of the dirt. Once you have a very good, clean area to work with, your next step is gonna be to tape off the rectangle. All right, now that we have a few coats drying down on the curb, it's time to move on to the numbers. Instead of using the generic stencils that I see everywhere, I wanted to copy my house numbers and put those down. So what I'm gonna do is take a picture of these, I'm gonna bring it into the computer, Photoshop it, print it, and then turn that into a stencil. Then I will apply that to the curb and it'll be custom numbers. So, let's check it out. So we're back inside. I've taken my picture, downloaded it, cut it in Photoshop, and I've printed it on this cardstock so we can make our stencil. All right, so we've laid down our coats of paint. We got our black over our white. Everything is good, and I'm ready to peel this off. So let's check out and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are. Obviously, there's uh, not perfect. We got a little overspray here. We'll clean with paint thinner. Okay, let's start with cleaning up the overspray. I'm gonna take some vinegar and mix it with some hot water. And I'm gonna pour it on here and use this rag and my scrub brush to scrub that off. And of course, we've got a little overspray on our stencils here uh, that you'll see in the close up. Overall, really good, and I'm happy with it. So uh, thanks for joining, I'll see you next time.